Hello, Jeff. Hello. I, want, I wanted to tell you about something that is used in the sea organization, the clergy of the cult of Scientology, called fitness boards. What is a fitness board? Well, you, you would relate to this. In you know how in corporate your performance is analyzed to see in the last year how you performed? Yes. Right? Evaluation. A review is done yeah. to see if you were producing. In the Sea Org, your status, you're as good as Thursday 2 o'clock to Thursday 2 o'clock, regardless of what you've done for years ahead of that. Your stats are down in that last immediate week. You're down stepped. So the Church of Scientology C organization is a mon monster kind of gobbly gobbly gooky thing that wants to crack a whip and make you produce. Now in the process of making you produce, it crushes you. Your, your soul is crushed. I was stopped by the security guards of HCO and dragged into uh, the t one of the towers in the castle and locked in a room with some paper and a pen to write up my OWs, my overts and withholds. And then I was guarded permanently after that. I said, if you come back, you'll get to talk to your sister. You'll get to talk to your husband, and we'll, you won't have to do the rehabilitation project for us, and we'll treat you better, and made all these promises, and I wanted it to be true. But when I went back, I got stuck there for another three damn years, and my sister didn't talk to me, and my husband divorced me, and it, it was rough. Three years, I was like in semi-isolation. I had to do manual labor every day, despite the fact that my back and my neck were in bad shape from, from past injuries. It drove me nuts. I was in so much pain. I mean, I was, uh, I lost my will to live at one point, and they finally uh, stopped harassing me because they were afraid I was gonna die on them. I'm like, oh, that would be bad public relations for the church for somebody to die on our premises because it already happened down in Clearwater. Lisa McPherson died. So we don't want it to happen again. So they finally let me, finally let me go. But at that point, <laughs> I didn't want to go. I needed to be taken care of. I mean, I, I was like a, a basket case. So people actually have fear of getting fitness boarded out of the C organization. Now you could say, wait a moment. Wouldn't they consider that Hallelujah, I'm out of here. Not so fast. People leave with no money. There's no money. You worked for years as a slave. You don't have a dime to live on. You most likely have cut yourself off from family because the church makes you sever more and more connections with anyone outside the C organization. A fitness board is a piece of paper and it says, Joe Blow is no longer fit for the sea organization. And that's an excuse to throw you out on the pavement after years of service. So they kick you to the curb with... $500. $500. And that's it. Yeah, and you could have said you have no, no pension, no retirement, no, medic, no health insurance, nothing. You give them the best years of your life for 30 years, 35 years, and now you <laughs> can't whip up enough production. They can fitness board you out. There are so many tears and so many heartache stories. I want to just very briefly tell you the story of Paul Chauvel. I hope I'm pronouncing that. Paul Chauvel. This was an Australian that everybody loved. He wanted to help people and he was a star and he was the senior most tech terminal in Australia for years and then he was doing so well he was grabbed to go to Intbase where he was 
had a high, high title, QEI, Quality Exec International. Long story short, after 30, 40 years in the church, his kidneys started acting up. And he had enormous pain. The church didn't want to be saddled with medical bills. He was shipped back to Australia, where he could get medical treatment on welfare. And he died in a wheelchair. This is, a, this is a recurring story with veterans. They're kicked out the door. There's an old, old couple who were in finance at InPace called Thelma and Arthur Cusworth. And because they started getting real old, they got medical conditions. So they were booted off InPace to England because the National Health Service give you free medical. They were British. Yeah, the Church of Scientology is not interested in, in running retirement homes as does the Catholic Church and many other uh, churches. They don't want to pay for retirement homes. Well, I'm told that the internet, all these activists watched, the activists have shamed them. And now they're sending old people to an old person's home. There's an old person's home three miles from the complex. and. Elderly people are shipped there. And this is because the internet has exposed their exposed. shabby, their shabby treatment of senior Sea Org members. So now they're having to take some responsibility on their own money. Yes. There's one hilarious little funny anecdote about fitness boards that I want to add. The church does not like to be humiliated. The people want to dump them and get out of there. So when you ask to leave, you go through this long procedure of people trying to persuade you to stay and you, get, you have to give up all your crimes, your confessions. But right at the end, when you're almost out of there, they fitness board you out so that they can say, we kicked them out. They didn't leave us. We found them unfit. That was so funny. They did that with me after, for six months, I've been asking to leave and really just refusing to stay. They begged, please, cajoled, did everything. Go right back on post. We won't even punish you. You won't get the RP. Just go back on post. And on the last day, they hand me a fitness board right up that I wasn't fit for the Sea Org, that I needed to do the briefing course and all these courses in order to be eligible to come back. <laughs> and then I realized, what a... <laughs> It's like if you tell your boyfriend, I'm dumping you. He says, no, you're not. I'm getting rid of you first. I've yeah. gotten rid of you. This is, this is the church's thing like, you don't leave us. We found you yeah, in to be unfit. Yeah, in corporate life, it's <laughs> how dare you quit. You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Karen, what will happen to David Miscavige if he gets old and sick? What do you think would happen? Would he get fitness boarded according to the rules? He stashed away. No, because of the PR. So he would go to an all-age home. It would be home. bad PR if the leader of the... Everything in the church revolves around image. What kind mm. of image would that give the church if Miscavige was booted out as a fraudster and con man? Everything in the church is image. Fitness board fitness boarding someone who's been telling them for the last year, I'm out of here, and then saying, no, we found him unfit. We found him ineligible. And, you know, there's a real racket on fitness boards. You're not allowed to be in the Sea Org if you've ever taken LSD, ever. If you've taken LSD, you can't be Sea Org. So there's a lot of shenanigans on this. 
people say they thought they took LSD in a, in a ploy to get out of the Sea Oak. And then they start hotting it up. I did take LSD. I'm not eligible. I took LSD. And then they'll give a, <laughs> an LSD trip. They'll describe it. And so the fitness board is actually can be done in one hour. It's just somebody sitting there, not really a board that convenes. So it can be used to kick you on the curb, and it can be used for public relations. You didn't want to leave us. We kicked you out with a fitness board. The whole estate um, is guarded with cameras, um, but there's one point behind the castle where um, there are no cameras, where the, by the fountain where the taxis usually drive up and let out um, all the, the, the customers. So what I did was I ordered a taxi from HCO to, that, to behind the fountain, um, and I just got in, and the taxi just drove out the front gate and to the nearest police station and they were waiting for me um, and they I, I, it took a while and they, were, they looked after me really well the English police and they said you know there's a lot of strange things going on in St. Hill and so many people are reported missing and when we find these people they don't want to have anything to do with St. Hill and perfectly fine and, um, and I said yeah a lot of things are going wrong there and then um, one police officer um, took me to a, to a certain point and then we changed cars and changed police officers so I got into another car with another policeman and he drove me to the airport and at the airport all the police um, were waiting and um, standing at different points guarding me and uh, were there for my protection and it had already been arranged with the uh, German embassy um, and the German embassy bought my ticket and I was um, escorted by this policeman into the plane and he spoke to the stewardesses and um, to stewards and to the captain and said that they have to take care of me and... <laughs>